Welcome back guys to another video here detailing the Gary. So today, since it was kind of my day off and stuff, and then I, have, I haven't cleaned like carpet and stuff. And then also like from winter and stuff, I just kind of like vacuum uh, the carpet. So I'm gonna just basically be uh, like strengthening like the mats and stuff and then trying to get those looking clean. So as it makes basically other videos, I'm gonna be using my Cooper spotless cleaner along with my super clean that you could just get like at your local Walmart and then just basically with my drill and stuff to get rid of all that uh grime and everything and then basically that's basically it and then just gonna be basically be extracting them so right now I'm gonna be showing you guys the mats and then my Hoover spotless cleaner and then basically my cleaners I'm gonna be using all right guys so as you guys can see this part right here there's just like less of uh carpet just from like where you put your leg and stuff it just kind of gets more and more down same with kind of like this spot right here but i think this right here is kind of like more of salt and stuff so as you guys can see all around all around the edges well this side on the left side because it's the driver's side and that side on the passenger side from salt and all that stuff whenever you get in it always tends to get on those sides so basically i'm gonna just kind of get these wet and soaked up kind of like in the shade over here and then scrub them down as you guys can see the other day i made those lines which i should have never done that because they were still kind of dirty but basically i'm gonna be using my super clean here this one right here i got from walmart and then basically my water that i put over here so just empty water bottle nothing too crazy so we're going to get these soaked up and then basically we're going to be using our drill here so i'm going to get this thing opened up we're going to be using this side right here hopefully they have batteries i haven't used them in a while so hopefully they work and then basically this little thing right here i got an auto zone it comes three so like a circular one a flat one and then a really small one so then i'm, I'm gonna get this on the drill and then we're gonna begin on the carpets and then i got my extension cord out there basically to extract these all right guys so basically i got my mats over here and then basically to get this thing on your drill it's pretty simple as long as it could kind of enter there and then you're gonna press like the right one and then just kind of hopefully this is the one that doesn't make that weird uh noise and then i'm gonna throw the other one on the charger real quick just so that thing can charge up just in case if one of them is dead because i think there was one there but i can't remember which one it was get that thing charged up and then we're going to start with uh this one right here that's not not like too crazy but it's basically i just like to soak it up Get everything nicely agitated so that way whenever we go hit it with the drill and stuff everything is nice loose i'd rather use more uh like water and stuff rather than like the super clean because once you got that water it's nicely soaked and everything and then you could just add a little bit of uh super clean because you don't want to just add all super clean just because you'll just be wasting more and stuff. So I'd rather get this nice soaked up. And then once you kind of feel like you got it, get these edges soaked up. And then basically I'm gonna just kind of start moving closer towards the edge. And also I'm trying to stay away from like the sun 
just so it doesn't dry it up. And then basically I'm just gonna take my drill. Hopefully this is the one that uh, doesn't make noise. So now that we kind of hit it, our first one, I just kind of do like mostly two passes, I'd say. And then this time I didn't hit the corners, so this time I'm gonna make sure I get those uh, corners and stuff. Just uh, more. So this one's on the passenger side, so your feet are mostly gonna be like on the right side, like when you enter. Alright, so now that we got that, this side kind of feels a little bit more dry. So we're still going to add a little bit more and then just kind of like that person. And then basically now that we got that thing, since this one is kind of like a little bit slower, I think this one was the good one, but I still can't remember it quite. So then we're going to leave that as that and then we're going to basically do our first pass with the extractor. So basically if you guys have your volume up, make sure to kind of lower that. I'm going to charge this one over here on the side so that way I can connect to my extractor or anything. Basically, I'm gonna just be doing a time lapse here, just kind of like extracting this right here, just because it kind of gets loud. And then, just so you guys just see the end results, stay tuned. And then, hopefully, that like water filter, I could kind of show you guys just how much it collects. And then, I'll try to be leaving all the links to these products if I could find them down in the description down below for you guys. So you guys could check those out for yourselves if you would like to get an extractor and maybe detail something. And then this thing has a three outlet. Like, so I think so I'm gonna get my other extension for this over here. Just for that. Basically, this is my extractor right here. It's uh, you could close uh, hose clean, basically like inside your hose and stuff, or anything that it collects. It could basically like self clean. So you just throw some fluid on the side here, and then that basically cleans it. But basically, it just has a little nozzle here. Once it's on, once you press it, it starts throwing water, which is kind of cool. It just kind of this trick is set out to the side. So basically, I'm gonna just extract these super quick here, and then we'll kiss you guys back for these uh, results. And then I'm gonna just basically try to move the camera right there. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, we basically got this thing uh, cleaned out here. Now it's basically nice and dry. Not like too crazy dry, but it leaves it nice and dry. And then you can basically do this on cloth seats and all that good stuff. 
it works well as you guys kind of if you guys could kind of see i'm not sure but it basically just starts swooping this and then i kind of like depending on what kind of couches this thing won't extract good on good on for some reason the other day i tried it and then it wasn't extracting as good but then right here i guess since it's like i'm not sure what it is but right here this leaves it super nice and dry like i literally had my knee on here and then there's they still look the same and then it just leaves it nice and dry so now we're going to basically be doing the lines giving it that nice look so i just like to kind of start off from left to right i'd say so basically i just go one way down and then one way up and then let's say if you hit this corner i kind of try to see like all right so this corner kind of lines up there so then i just start up here so then there you have it the lines right there it just kind of adds that kind of like nicer effect i'd say I'm not sure if you guys could kind of tell, maybe very little, as you guys can see the line. It just makes it look a little bit cool. So now we're just gonna set this one off to the side. And then just basically let that thing dry. And then get that thing back out on the vehicle. And then I'm just gonna do this one real quick. Just again in like time-lapse mode. So basically the same process here. This one I've been in vacuum, that's good. Cause I kind of just threw it out there and I was like, oh, I'm gonna just extract these. But then basically, same process as the other ones. I'm gonna make sure I get this nice and soaked. Just because we know it's the driver's side and then there's just uh, more salt living like in the middle of noise and stuff. There's just a lot more salt. And then I like this bottle just because it lifts. I also use this like for pads and stuff, just because it gives it a nice overall mist. Not like a heavy mist, this is something light. You get all your edges whenever you're doing this and then also mostly like in the middle where you have your feet down unless you have I have uh, another mat that kind of like just protects these so only like the sides kind of get salt on them really so then basically once you got that nicely soaked up just kind of spread whatever type of cleaner you use or if you want to use something that I use, go ahead. Basically, same process. And then, hopefully this one gets a little bit more foamier than the other one. Alright guys, so now that we basically uh, got that all done with the drill, moving on to our extraction part and then just super quick. Let me just show you on the first pass that we did. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but I'll show you guys better at the end. But there's still some dirt, there's some dirt already I should say. So now for the extraction part, we need to get this started. So basically time lapse mode, and then we'll catch you guys for the results. So 
So basically, there you have it with this one. Now it's time for those lines. So basically, as you guys can see there, we got our mats, they are nice and clean up. That one, once again, like kind of like right there, and then that one little side is kind of like peeling all those little fiber things that they're made out of to make it nice and soft. So basically, here's our extractor here, and then just to kind of show you guys the little tank solution, I mean, the recovery tank. You guys can see all that basically dirt. And then they're basically uh, black mats. So now if we go back into the Honda out here. Basically, as you guys can see, the inside is nicely vacuumed though. And then same thing with that one other side. And then just like the cracks here, I'm probably gonna end up getting either a smaller vacuum or like some vacuuming tips. Just so I could get all those hard reach areas. So basically, that's all set. I'm just gonna basically wait for these to kind of dry, and then basically get everything back on the car, and then maybe wash some microfiber towels from the other day, and then just kind of organize the shelf kind of a little bit better than what it is already, and then just basically gonna be it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video other than that leave a comment down below for any futuristic videos and then make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content peace